So we got this car from uh, from a client went to one of my customers and they didn't feel comfortable uh, messing with it. So uh, they brought it to us, which is fine with us. Um, The issue is they do a smart scan that you put it on reverse and put my foot because I don't want the thing moving. It won't rev. And then when you drive, it doesn't rev up at all. So Um, there's a pre-scan, uh, this is miles, let me see how many miles that the thing has, thing has 100, 193.443. The license plate. Uh, give me one side. I'm gonna put the customer information. So right now, I have Mr. Cordial 3 uh, Misfire Thrower Extra Control Body Performance. That one is something that I am concerned about. Implausible air temp. Implausible. Left wheel distinction signal, now, uh, throttle position one and two. Now, when I do seem kind of interested, electronic throttle control system unable to close. Okay, okay, good enough info. So, what I'm going to do, erase code, see what's come back on because I know on on uh. Dodge. If you don't raise the codes, they uh, they will not reset, and you will have issues. So, the main thing. Report. No faults so far. Let me see if I could see misfires. So some tests. Um, no. Okay. Cause I do feel misfire. So far, none of them are counting. Let me see what I could do. Um, show nothing. Let's see if I could drive this and see what it does. So we're going for a drive. Step it on the other way to the floor. Doesn't move, doesn't respond. So what I'm going to do. I don't know if it I don't think it's a termination issue. to have left again I don't have nothing at all I'm huh? gonna start checking the data I'm gonna start checking what the APP and the throttle are reporting just I mean 
doesn't it doesn't accelerate at all. see right here accelerator uh, pedal position zero to the floor a hundred as you can see it shows up Let me see. Torque, voltage. Okay. Like you see, there's some moving with it. I don't see issue there. That's fine. Let me see. I might have to change this. It says 13,970 millivolts. Mm. You see right here, TPS 930, and then throttle 630. Punch the floor, they don't move. 13.52 also let's go on TPS2 408 13.52 as you can see it doesn't move interesting um, I'm going to get wire diagram for this and also I'm going to get another uh, scanner because I kind of don't trust this scanner at all but let me make sure it's reporting the same thing. Okay, I got it right. Uh, 2008 Dodge Avenger. Engine. Data. Throttle. Collecting data. APP. One and APP two. So you can see they do change not let go with a throttle because the APP does a pedal they go with a throttle which is this one and that one they don't move at all they say the same that one says the same so we know we're getting a good uh, reading from it. So what we're going to do is go on here. Sorry, this is pretty big, but I show you guys when I have everything set up. So here we go. We have a 5 ref coming in from our PCM. We have power and ground coming from our uh, PCM for the motor. We have sensor ground and then we have our signals. So what we're going to do, we're going to check on these bells first and then check on these and see what it's doing. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see that, but I am... Um, I have on the left side my wire diagram and on the right I have my Pico so my Pico I'm going to be running my I'm going to use it as a uh, very expensive multimeter and I could see it over a period of time which that is a point of a oscilloscope so it says our number three 
are pink with orange is our five volts. So let me turn the key. Okay, I got the key turned on. I don't see nothing um, on it. Let me try to touch it from the front. The front works. So I did have a false connection. Let me see if the APP isn't shorted. The APP, the throttle position sensor isn't shorted. Hang, hang in there with me as you can see that's not shorted I'm trying to do my best because this is pretty pretty hot uh, I think I think oh there it goes uh, I moved it just a bit, uh, nothing major, um, let me, let me take this off, let me get a test light, so we could test our ground circuit, which I'm going to do now, you guys won't be able to see. Um, again, this is a how-to video. Um, sometime I will be doing, giving some information out. Doesn't mean all the time. Uh, and then number two, number two does light up. I do have a good ground. Uh, So let me go after from with orange, which is my APP2. I noticed something with this connector is kind of floppy. Uh, I'll show you guys in a minute. The main thing I want to do is Get this rolling. I'm going to pierce it. Sorry. Sorry. I'm going to pierce it because I want to have a solid connection. I don't want to, the way that this guy moves I do feel I will have a problem with my connection and I don't want that I want a nice steady connection before I put that back in I'm going to pierce both the one and the two I'm not going to put them in the same channel I mean, multiple channels, I'm just going to keep them separate, but every single time I'm going to click on it or manipulate the throttle plate. Okay, so... We're going with the dark green, which is TPS2. As you can see, it's steady at four. As you can see, it does move. Okay, so we do know that that is good. Let's try the other one. Same thing again. The uh, 
the two does move, the one doesn't. So I'm going to check and see if this is shorted. You can see it doesn't move. Um, I'm going to check with my test light. I am connected to battery positive or from the jumper positive. It's not shorted. As you can see, I'm able to pull it up. We do have a faulty uh, throttle body. But besides we go from there, I want to make sure that all the fuses here are fine. I don't want to have an issue with one of the fuses. I know on some of these cars, um, let me put you guys down so you guys So I found some fuses. Um, I want to see what 16 feet, because that is the blown fuse. Let's look over here. Let me take this off. Give one sec. Okay. I don't need that. I don't need that. I'm still trying to find a way to get this set up the way I want it. Uh, again, it just. It's a bit hectic. Past couple weeks. Power. And it is 16 so let's find number 16 fuse you know, not there or there Six and seven. There are these thirteen. Give me a minute. I'm about to put another battery. <laughs> Was able to find sixteen. Sixteen comes down. Um, it goes to the moon roof and the power outlet on the instrument panel, which we don't have none of that. Um, so let me see if I could bi-directional uh, command this thing to move. If I can and it doesn't work. Obviously, there's an issue with the motor or power getting to it. Mm. Functional test. I should wait. No. No. And take the mana for running. No, no, no. No. Key on engine off. So probably this will actuate it. Run test. I can see nothing happens. Um, Let me try functional test. So wait. Let me try with the other guy. See what it does.
Hopefully you guys could see. You can see those gears right right there. They're pretty much flat. There's nothing there at all. So let me put this gear back on. You can see. Doesn't move. But if I move it here, it moves. So I also want to take these out and see what do I find. These uh, screws. So this is a motor that will get energized to spin um, this gear. As it sits, uh, this comes in contact with this gear, which in turn spin this one that goes here, and that will turn to a flap. Um, if I'm not mistaken, these are our position sensors. Um, I don't see issue there. Um, but again, there might be an issue with the solder. Everything looks fine. I mean, regardless, I mean, the gear on it is bad. So, I mean, I'm going to replace it, put a new one that's over there, and get the car uh, on the road. So, my readings are good. It's able to respond. You can see, let's shut it off. Yeah, I had to do a learning. 